Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> James, Lee, and my, my. I go crazy for the perfect baguette. Nope. Working on the leadership team at b, &B. It's so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> look here. Look at here. Do not look at me. <laughs> Why do I look so angry and confused? <laughs> Be a bear. You're screwing me up here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> what is it like working at Bambi through the lens of the leadership team? Well, first of all, I think you have to ask them. What is it like working at Bambi? It's breathtaking. It is engaging. It is enthralling. It is fast. Fast, you know? It's not a joke when we say it's a fast-paced startup. I worked at other startups. It's super exciting. It's exciting. It's wonderful. Um, we don't take ourselves too seriously. <laughs> How supportive the entire team is here. I'm on a team filled with brilliant folks that don't have egos. We bring in such a well-rounded, business-first mentality group of people. We are a place that has leaders that are brilliant, obsessed, disciplined, honest, with a track record of scaling some of the world's greatest technology companies, and they've come here to do it again. When they presented me with the opportunity and all of the, the vision and all the perks of Bambi, I jumped. I've worked for a number of startups throughout my career and a number of companies that have raised a bunch of money in one company that's gone public. And then I transferred over to ZipRecruiter, uh, which is where I met Alan. So Alan and the mission and the vision of Bambi being so provocative and not maintaining the status quo was a tremendous draw to come here at Bambi. I want people who really care about this mission, who think like a founder. I'd like to think that my team respects me and trusts me because that's how I feel about them. But if you want to know what it's like to be a leader under me, you have to go ask those leaders. What is it like to work on my team? I love being on my team. But we're fun and we're focused. You are respected. You are treated as the owner and the master of that domain. Keeping the eye on the ball is like a primary thing. Driving a culture that allows us to have structure. It's a very unique opportunity in a lot of ways. And it's the first team I've been a part of where you just, you can't step on toes. We think about people as a person and not as a group. Knowing that I can take this idea from A to Z with a, not a lot of drama and therefore seeing the immediate results, good and bad, is hugely exciting. And I'm going to drive and demand more than you're probably prepared to give out because I know that that's what's made the company so successful and it's made me so successful. You can't do anything without great people around you. I have learned that being honest just for the sake of getting something isn't the same as being honest. I've learned the relationship with my senior executive team that they are real relationships. Under Alan's guidance, I have grown exponentially it's, uh, it's night and day from where I started. It taught me how to be a leader because I had no choice but to be a good one to get people who didn't work for me to actually move the needle. You know, the more I trust the team, the better results that there will be. I've grown a ton. It's annoying as fuck sometimes, but uh, I've learned a ton. I've put so much into this company and I've gotten so much out of it. To be so involved in just the business lines is just an amazing opportunity, both personally and professionally. It's very fulfilling. What's my advice to any person that wants to join Bambi's leadership team? Go back to the office. <laughs> Stop it. That's enough. For, for no other reason than the, than the journey, than the adventure, than the connections. The connection matters. The building your actual on the ground leadership ability matters based on the relationships you build, not just based on the orders you give. Come here with a little bit of a chip on your shoulder, right? Who told you you couldn't, All right? Did somebody tell you you can't one time? Fuck that guy. You can, and maybe you can do it here. Like guaranteed gonna learn more in your time here than you will anywhere else. Uh, but it will demand a lot from you. You can't just be average. You have to be a master at your craft. Getting in the trenches. Adaptability to change. A willingness to be humble. An attitude of undying optimism. <laughs> you need to come here ready to be obsessed with what's happening inside this business. 80% of my dreams are Bambi dreams. If you're not ready to come in and 
put that level of thought towards this business, you it won't work. We are one of the most eclectic, diverse group of people that has come in the most natural and organic way. And it's probably something that we are most passionate and most proud about. And I hope that tradition lives long past whenever I'm here. If you are driven and collaborative and transparent and helpful and inclusive, then this is the place for you. Let's make some stuff happen. I think the world and the external world has built a a bit of a delusion around what it takes to truly be successful and what it takes to create a category and what it takes to take a category all the way to unicorn and all the way to IPO. I'm sorry, I don't believe you can do that on Slack, but you can do it shoulder to shoulder with some of the smartest people you ever encountered in your careers. And I believe they're here.